Good morning, students. Another day, another lab, this time lab 4.1. So as we can see here, we have um, starter code. And what we're doing is basically turning a string into a string with no vowels. So it's going to be the same string, of course, but just with no vowels. So here um, you can step through um, strings a lot like you can lists, right? So you can start with zero and walk through every single, uh, you know, uh, letter inside of a string and that's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is no vowels. First thing I'm going to be doing is creating that string index. You can see it's going to start at zero and we're going to use that for our while loop, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, and I'm also going to set up the new string that's going to have no vowels. And once I'm done with this function, that's what I'm going to be returning is that string with no vowels. So I want to see how I can either strip all the vowels out of the string or which I think will be much easier is put all of the uh, letters that are not vowels inside of my new string. I think that's going to be uh, much more simple. So I'm going to start a while loop. I'm going to say while stir index is less than the length. And I'm going to use that len function that we've seen before inside of my string. So right here I'm saying while my string index is less than the length of my string, which says that, you know, if my sentence maybe has, uh, you know, 30 characters in it, I'm going to go through until my string index is greater than that. And of course you actually need to make sure that you're incrementing. So I'm going to say string index equals sure index and it's not going to autocomplete plus one. Now, of course, um, we have seen an easier way of doing that and that is, Instead of doing this longer thing right here, I'm just gonna teach you a very simple syntax, which is str index plus equals one, which basically means that str index is gonna be itself plus one. It's a, a kind of a shorthand syntax that's very useful. So here, um, I wanna check it letter by letter, so I'm gonna create a variable called letter. I'm gonna say that is equal to a string, and I wanna check it out at, I'm not gonna use parentheses, I'm going to use brackets at the str index. So again, we can look at a uh, string a lot like a list. We can access each element inside of it, which is what I'm going to be doing. Um, so here I want to say if, and I'm going to use a very, or not a very simple, but a simple uh, if statement, if letter not in, and I'm going to give it a list of vowels. And so basically I'm going to say if it's not in this list, I want to uh, not, you know, if it's in this list, I don't want to include it. If it's not in this list, I want to include it. So my val list just goes simple, A, E, I, O, and U. And I'm more impressed that I actually got those without looking at my keyboard with just uh, one finger each. Um, so we're gonna say uh, my string, I want my um, string and where is it? It's gonna be, String no vowels um, is basically I'm just going to add each letter. So it's going to be plus equal, just like we do below uh, letter. And it's that simple. So I'm going to say uh, letter is equal to a string string index if that letter is not in A, E, I, O, or U. Um, and I'm going to just give it a little bit of formatting to make it easier for myself to read. Then I want string no vowels to be itself plus the letter. And right now string no vowels has nothing in it. It's gonna be uh, everything from this sentence right down here that has no vowels, or that is not a vowel, I should say. And to make my life a little bit easier, I'm also gonna print out uh, the letter itself. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't even wanna print out the letter. I wanna print out, print out string no vowels, right? So right here, this should be our complete function. If I click run, and I'm gonna make this a little bit larger over here, you can see, Every time I go through that loop, that while loop, I'm printing out each part of the sentence uh, and it has no vowels in it, right? So we can see at the very end, we see THS sentence has no vowels, right? Um, and the whole key that we do is this while loop where we treat the string a lot like we would treat an array maybe. And then we also check and have this if statement that is checking for every letter and is seeing if it is in this list of A, E, I, O, or U, if it's a vowel, and if it's not, it adds it to my new list, and then I go ahead and return that. Um, and that is pretty much it. That is really all there is to lesson 4.1. Uh, of course, what I would do if I were you is go and build some more use cases to see if you know this function or if your build of it works when you know the sentence has no vowels in it to begin with, or if the sentence is all vowels. And matter of fact, we'll go ahead and test one of these right now. 
let's just say we did a sentence where it's a, you know, I, and I'm just, you know, continuing to use different vowels. It's not really a sentence, but we're going to use it anyways. If I click run, you can see it prints nothing, right? But then what if I do thigh, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of sentences that don't use any vowels. It's actually pretty difficult. Thigh, th, gh, y, d. That's not a sentence, but has no vowels, right? If I click run, you can see it prints out the whole thing. It, it doesn't remove anything because it has no vowels in it, and that's very good. We want to make sure our code works, and we've just verified that it works in some very simple use cases. So that's great, and that's all really there is to Lab 4.1. Thank you very much for watching.